Hi guys, welcome to a new lesson with me, Michelle. I've got a question for you. So tell me, can animals help you learn English? Well, they don't speak in English, do they? They don't speak English. So how can they help you learn English? The truth is, they can. Because we have some very useful phrasal verbs in English that are from the names of different animals. So let's get started and find out how animals can help us learn English. Let's look at the first phrase that we've got today. So the first phrasal verb we have is fish for. So have you ever fished for something? Well, I hope you don't have because fish for means to try to get something in an indirect way, okay? To try to get something in an indirect way, which is usually not nice. So it's more of a negative phrase. To try to get something in an indirect way. Try this. It's sickening how James is always fishing for compliments, which means how this guy James is always trying to get good compliments from others and it's not nice for us. All right. So that's how we use fish for. Now let's move to the next one. Even pig can teach us some English. Well, yes, it says pig out. So pig out. What image do you get in your mind when you think of a pig? Do you think that he's just hogging the whole time? Hogging means eating the whole time? Yeah, he's usually eating garbage. And that's where this phrase comes from. Pig out means when you're eating a lot of food, especially junk food. Okay, so pig out means eating junk food. And a lot of junk food. So for this, you could say that I saw Sam pigging out on pizza and fries in front of the TV, which means he was just hogging on it and he was eating all of that junk food while he was watching TV. Well, pity him. Let's move forward and learn the next one. Wolf down. Did you see my expression? Wolf down. It means that you quickly eat all your food. Maybe because you're tired, you're hungry, and you just have to eat. Or maybe you have to go catch a flight, so you quickly eat your food and rush for your flight. Okay? So wolf down means to quickly eat your food. So as an example, you could say that Emma was so tired that she wolfed down her food and she took out the clothes for next morning and dozed off. Dozed off means slept off. Okay, now with that, let's move forward and look at the next one. Leech off. So what do you think is a leech? Well, leech is a sort of blood sucking reptile. So what it does is it sticks onto your body and sucks out the blood. So can you think of a person like that? A person who sucks the blood out of you? Well, that kind of person could be termed as a leech. But leech off means that somebody who uses you for their personal gains and gives nothing in return. So leech off means to take something from you and give no returns. So as an example, you could say that Brenny always takes all his efforts into his hands and he leeches off his success. Okay, so this means that he takes all his compliments and you know, he takes all his praises and then he leeches him off of its, his success. Okay, with that we move forward to monkey around. So do you know what is monkey around? How does a monkey behave? So a monkey is always active, energetic and playing around. Well, so when you see kids, they're just, you know, playing and having fun, you know, light play. That's called monkeying around, which means 
having fun. Sometimes you don't like your kids monkeying around and you might want to tell them, stop monkeying around and listen to me. Another alternative for monkeying around is muck around, okay? Muck around possibly came from monkey around. It's like a short version of it, which has the same meaning, okay? The next one we have is duck out. Well, as you just saw, I went down and you couldn't see me. Maybe you saw me, but that's what duck out means. When you suddenly leave a place without any prior announcement or without telling anyone, okay? So duck out is suddenly leaving a place. So if you think whenever a duck is in the water, you never know that once it's on the surface, Within seconds, right in the blink of an eye, it will duck in, which means that it'll go inside and you won't even get to know. And duck in, in if, you, if you know about, you know, boxing, duck in means to go down so that you can save yourself from the punch. So that's what duck out means, to leave a place without any announcement. Great. So for this, you could say that I'll just duck out and grab a bite which means that I'll just go out and grab a bite for myself. So if you're in a boring meeting, you might want to duck out. I do that. Okay, the next is beaver away. Have you seen a beaver? He's like really cute. I really like beavers. They're so cute. They've got a really cute t tooth, you know, front tooth, which are very cute. So that's how beaver is and I really like them. So, but by character, a beaver is kind of very active and energetic and is always onto something. You'll never see a beaver free. A beaver is always occupied. Well, if a person is working very hard, you could say that he or she is beavering away. For example, you could say that she's beavering away for her math exam, which means she is working very hard for her math exam. Beavering away means to work hard. Okay, now with that, we move to the next one, which is ferret out. So do you know what is a ferret? Well, ferret is the enemy of a snake. Do you know how it looks? It's like really small and it hates the snake, okay? So ferret out. Now, ferrets are experts at finding out hidden information, you know? Possibly they are like the raw agents and they can find out hidden information. So ferret out means to find out hidden information. So for this you could say that Uncle Vicky ferreted out about our, our lost car from the police, which means he found the hidden information from the police about our lost car. The next one is clam up. Okay, look at this, clam up. So this is how a shell looks, okay? And you always see the pearl inside it. These are called clams. And clam up means when you suddenly become very quiet because you are shy or you're nervous. So clam up means to become quiet. Because you are shy or nervous. For this, you could say that she always clams up whenever somebody talks to her about her boyfriend, which means she doesn't want to tell too much and she's very shy. Okay. The next one is hound out. So a hound is a wild dog. Okay. A wild dog. And the best thing that a wild dog does is chase somebody because we are running away from them and they're running behind us, so they're chasing us. So if somebody has chased someone, they have hounded someone out. For example, the family hounded out the thief from their house, which means that they chased the thief away from their house. Hound out means to chase someone out. S-O stands for someone, okay. The next one is rabbit on, okay. So this phrase means that 
someone is going on talking, going on talking about something, okay? Which means that they are just blabbering about a topic and nobody's interested in listening to them. Does this happen when people give out really, speak really boring speech? Yeah, so when somebody speaks a very boring speech, you could say that he was rabbiting on about the environment, which means he was continuously talking or giving out a boring talk or delivering a boring speech. Our next phrase is squirrel away. Okay, so squirrel away. Do you, what do you think of when you think of squirrels? Where do they live? Well, they've got tiny houses. They've got hideouts, you know, maybe somewhere under the land or somewhere in the tree, you know, maybe in the trunk also. They make those really small holes and get into them. Th those are their hideouts. So that's the character of a squirrel. And if you have hidden something to use later, that's called squirreling away. So you could say that by December, I would have squirreled away $300 to buy my new car, okay? Which means you would have hidden something to use later. The next phrase is chicken out. Okay, this is a very interesting phrase. Chicken out means to, at last minute, you deny something. For example, you planned for a trip with your friends and last minute you cannot go, so you say that, okay, I can't come with you all. We all have one person like that in our group, you know, who chickens out in the last moment, which means he says that I'm not coming. So chicken out means to say no for something at the last minute. So you could say that we were going to, we were going for bungee jumping, but Sandra chickened out last minute. Great. Now the last one we have is quite similar from where we started. Fish for means to try to get something in an indirect way and fish out means to take out something from either a liquid or a container or a pile of something. For example, you could say Emma fished out for a piece of paper from the pile kept on her desk. So fish out means to dive deep and take out something from a pile, okay? Fish out means to take out something. Now with that, we've come to an end of this lesson where we have learned vocabulary from animals. So do you see how much animals have to teach us? Well, thank you for staying with me. I hope this was fun. You learned something new and you also had fun. Thank you. See you very soon with another lesson. Till then, have fun. Bye-bye.